Okay, I'm back with more insight and intel for you guys. This is um, this is my secret intel meeting for the collective for the light workers <laughs> that I'm broadcasting on YouTube. So, <clears throat> all right, everybody else listening in, yeah, I'm telling all your fucking secrets, bitches. We figured it out, and now everybody's gonna know. All right. Anyway, uh, speaking of that collective, my my people, please be careful. Don't tell these people you know. All right, you're gonna end up like me, where they're literally, blatantly, openly in public trying to fucking slay you, murder you, send people in to rape you. <laughs> Please, like, seriously, guys, because you guys know that these narcopaths uh, have have no uh, impulse control, and they have major, insane jealousy issues, and you know they have rage, and all, all of that combined is a recipe for a disaster uh, on your life. You know. Um, also, you know, guys, we're not invincible. Like, uh, you know, we are, many of us have been brought back from the dead, you know, a couple times. Uh, I know I have. <laughs> many of us uh, have been nearly dead multiple times. You know, again, we're, we're not invincible, my loves, but we are, we are, uh, how, how do I put it? heavily protected by God, right? God ultimately, and, and this is what God did when we didn't die, my friends. God showed these motherfuckers what's up. He did. God was like, uh, you trying to take out my, my, my people? Like, it doesn't work. And, and I'm telling you right now, these people are terrified of you, which is why they want to kill you so bad. All right. They are terrified of your power. They are terrified of your anointing. They're terrified of the level of protection that you have from God. All right. They don't have that. Right. And um, it's unfortunate for them. But every narcopath wakes up every day and makes the free will decisions that they make to be evil. Okay. You could do that too, right? I could wake up today and be like, hmm, I want to torture innocent people today. And I could start that campaign, right? I could. I could go out on the street and I could harm somebody if I felt like it, right? Um, so so everybody, everybody has a free will decision, all right? And, um, it, you know, whether or not to be evil. And they, they've chosen this, guys. You need to remember that at the end of the day, they have chosen this okay they chose to do what they did to you they chose to treat you like they treat you they chose to try to kill you destroy you okay this was all free will choices whether or not you accept these people in your lives still is totally up to you of course but i you know and everybody's at a different level of 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 all of this right and there's no right or wrong answers you are exactly where you're supposed to be you're listening to exactly what you're supposed to be listening to right now god put you on my path for a reason right and it's so that you you understand this stuff too so that you have awareness and you know you know what is going on with these folks um because because like i said this is a revelation guys this is not uh this is real you know i'm not a christian as you guys know i don't follow the bible religiously but i do pull from it because i do think a lot of it in there is accurate right is um is very applicable to what's happening today and um there's definitely insight and intel in there for us and um you know i try to extract that extract what 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 is important and share that too with the group but anyway um i don't even know what i was saying so so you're not killable you're not destroyable right you're not even they didn't even, they weren't even able like look at poor britney what they did to her you know institutionalized her many of us have been institutionalized luckily i never was i i, I guess i got super lucky and nobody ever found the the uh, loophole they're trying now of course to institutionalize me saying that i am delusional uh but um you know look what they did to britney and they gave her permanent brain damage you know, from institutionalizing her and, and pumping her full of meds, you know, and this is exactly what it was. Brittany wanted to be free. Brittany wanted to make her own free will decisions. Okay. And that was not permitted by her narcopath family. Okay. And Kevin Federline was in on it. 
He was. He was hired by her dad. And if you think that that husband she just divorced, and Amir Ansari, was not hired by her dad, oh yeah, he was. Everybody that she has been with, everybody that's been around her, everybody that's supposedly been her friend, her lover, her husband, has been hired by her family, and it's likely the same with you. All right? Some of us got lucky and found people that were not hired by our family, and they were either killed put in prison, or ripped away from us entirely, right? Ripped away from us and sucked into a Jezebel cult. And um, that is because they don't want anybody on your side, guys. They don't want anybody knowing that they're stealing your fucking inheritance, okay? And let me just tell you, Chosen Ones Collective, Lightworkers, your inheritance is a lot more than you thought it was. It's worth, it's worth killing for. I mean, these fuckers will kill for 20 bucks, right? They'll kill for a hamburger, but they'll kill just because they don't like the way you look, you know, but it's worth spending the rest of their lives in prison for. They, they made this decision, right? To steal your inheritance because it's a lot more than you think. You may have been told you were left a little something, something, a little chunk of the will, a little this, that, and the other. No, baby. No, baby girl. No, baby boy. You, you have... You have a big chunk of change waiting for you, and these motherfuckers have been stealing it, spending it, waiting for it to come in, trying to keep you stuck, stagnant, and blind so that you have no fucking clue. You know these narcissists are obsessed with money. That is what fuels the Jezebel spirit, money, okay? It's all about money and greed and jealousy, all right? So, so the reason that you're targeted as well, so hardcore, is not only because you're not convertible, because God left you a big-ass inheritance, okay, so that you can enjoy the rest of your life. You're going to live in peace. You're not going to ever have to think about how you're going to pay your light bill or pay your room or pay for your rent or, or, or anything like that ever again, okay? I'm telling you guys, you're, you're going you're gonna to be able to eat anything you want every day. Okay, you're going to be able to buy whatever clothes you want, your makeup, your whatever, you know, like you can travel anywhere you want. You know, there's enough money to do all of that and, and, and for generations, really. But the real, you know, purpose of, the, of God leaving us all this money was because we, we have to do good in the world with it. And we will, you know, just like I, I have a list of people I want to help. And it's not just, you know, a couple people, right? If it's more money, shit, we're doing organizations. We're doing, you know, we're going to help on a big, big, big scale, right? Human trafficking is going bye-bye. But, um, you know, I, I, you guys have that too is what I'm saying. And it, it's your job to do good in the world with it. And you will. You are. You just naturally will do that, right? You'll naturally help people. You'll naturally, if there's enough money, start charities and organizations and, and do things that are close to you, close to your heart. You know, you, know, you, you want to help prevent. We, we have to prevent this from going forward, guys. That's the whole thing. We have to get down to the, the bottom of it, right? To the, to the nuts and bolts. And the only thing I can see is locking up all these narcopaths you know, to the point where we skip a generation with them, right? So that, so that they can't abuse any more children. They can't turn any more children into Jezebels. You know, they can't, um, they can't torture people and rape people and do all the stuff that they do, you know? So that's one option, right? But, but at this point, because there's so many of them, the only thing I can think of is like us being rescued, evacuated, right? Because there's so few of us compared to how many there are of them. It's an epidemic, you know, it's more than an epidemic. It's it's horrible, you know, and I feel bad for the, the people of the light that chose to stay in these karmic situations because they're getting left, you know, and it's terrifying because they have to actually experience the punishment and the karma that these narcopaths have to experience too, whether that be prison, whether that be, you know, in, in, in you know, maybe they're going to be uh, put in a camp. Maybe they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, executed, some of them for their crimes. I mean, these people have murdered so many people callously, you know, for nothing, just because they, to get their way, you know, so some of them might, might face the death penalty guys, you know, and I, and I swear these people think that nobody knows what they've been doing, but they're so stupid. You have in your hand and what I am talking into right now, okay, is a portable leash. It is a portable um, you know, monitoring device. <laughs> so, and, and, and if you think that nobody's monitoring it, especially if you're committing crimes, they have, they have probable cause motherfuckers. They do. Okay. 
and, and if, if there's crimes being committed against you. And again, I don't care if people monitor my shit. I really don't fucking care. Why? Because I literally have nothing to hide. You know, I, 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 I again, I, I'm pure. I have no dirty secrets, not one, you know, <laughs> any secrets that I have or may still have uh, had or have. Are, are dirty secrets of the people around me, my family, or the things that they've done to me. But my, I have not done anything, you know, I don't have any dirty secrets at all. So I don't care if somebody looks at my phone, you can look at it all day long. I have every person I've ever dated has had full unrestricted access to my device. I don't care. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Um, because I'm not hiding anything, right? But these narcopaths are hiding everything. And they think that they've hidden everything so well on their cell phones and their burner phones. And that makes me laugh too, because I want, I want these narcopaths to think about burner phones. Okay. How do you think they work? Dumbass. How do you think they work? You send a message. That message is then transmitted to either a satellite or a cell phone tower. Okay. Where that information is then captured. Okay. Uh, and then transmitted to the device that it's supposed to go to, right? So, but it's there, is what I'm saying. Even a burner phone, you you can't get away with this, guys. You everything that you have done on the computer, on the internet, on the phone, you know, since the dawn, since the phones had internet, since the phones had internet, which is what back in '08, has been captured, has been has been monitored. Okay, there's a whole ass file on all of these people and on you guys too, you know, and trust and believe, even if you've done shit wrong, even if you've done drugs, even if you've whatever cheated, it doesn't matter. You know, none of that matters, guys. What they're looking for are these fucking murderers, these abusers, these psychos, you know, you're a human being living a human experience. You're not trying to hurt anybody, you know, you're not doing anything wrong, right? You're having a human experience and they know that. Okay. You didn't do anything. You're not in trouble. These motherfuckers, however, oh yeah. Oh yeah, because you can believe me when I tell you they have done so much <laughs> on their devices, on the internet, on the work computers, on the work systems, so much. And I truly believe a file has been being built against them the whole time, <laughs> which is epic, right? Which is fucking epic, okay? Um, because you know, we're, we're going to utilize that data, that info now on who these people are. Everybody has like a personality profile. Everybody knows if you're a chosen one or not, you know, trust me, they do. All right. And, uh, they've built up a case against these people with cause, right? With cause and the people that enable them and support them and fund their evil deeds. They've built a case against them too. So, um, you guys need to know, you know, like I said, when I say shit's bubbling behind the scenes, it's bubbling, guys. It is bubbling, okay? This is not going down the way that these narcopaths think it's going down. It's just not. Um, everything that they've done, every evil deed has been, has been monitored, has been viewed, has been captured, recorded, uh, you know, by these devices. And um, it's a good thing, guys. It's a real good thing you know, um, that they started doing this because it's not a privacy invasion. When, when someone is trying to murder someone, when these people have abused, even just you and me, right? Us to the levels that they've abused us to there, there, there's probable cause right there to look in your cell phone, to monitor you, you know? So they have, they, they, they can be mad about this all day. It's not going to matter. They're criminals. It doesn't matter if they're mad or not. They're not going to have power anymore. These people are going to be stripped of all of their positions of power. And I, I, I mean, again, I don't know if they're gonna just jail the top ones or what they're gonna do, but they have to literally prevent this from being spread to future generations somehow, right? We, we have to get the light back in power, okay? We have to get good back in power because evil has obviously tipped the scales, all right? We're at 92% infection rate, okay? 92% demonic possession rate, 92% people, that's too much, you know, no wonder the world is shit, you know, and, and these people are just doing the, th the damn thing, you know what I mean, they're, they're, they're literally being demons, they're horrible, you know, they, they've done everything they can to hurt you collective, and to take you out so that they can take over the world and destroy it, that's what they want, it's Satan's agenda to kill the earth, 
because he was jealous of God and God's creation, right? Super jealous, okay? And Satan can't do shit else, right? Satan has no power on Jupiter or Mars. Satan has no power in the solar system, in the universe. The only thing Satan can do because he's banished to Earth because of what he did, okay? The only thing he can do is try to fuck up the Earth and its inhabitants, okay? And that's what he's been doing. He's been working real hard and God's just been giving him just enough rope to hang himself, okay? And uh, we're coming in full circle, all right? Like I said, guys, this is like revelation shit, okay? Um, I'm gonna try to find some writings about the chosen ones, about the revelations, all of that, and put this all together for you guys in another video. But hopefully this info gave you some insight and some hope, okay? Like I said, please don't lose hope. Listen, guys, at the end of the day, right, we have a roof over our head, we have food, okay? We have God, we have, um, you know, some of us have our children, you know, our animals, our pets, you know, there's things to be grateful for, there's things to, to be uh, grateful for. And, the, and, and the, the biggest thing to be grateful for, guys, is that you know, and that, you know, you're not one of them, honestly. Be, be, thank your lucky stars and thank God every day that you are not one of them. Not only because, can you imagine being one of them? I can't. Uh, not only because of that, but because there is a reward coming for you guys. We're going to be able to enjoy our life for the first time very soon. And just know that, okay? This isn't all for nothing. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.